Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the kitchen. Only today, we're in the dining room, and we're going to make something I hope is going to be beautiful, and that will inspire you to do something special in your dining room, too. We're having a little dinner party, and I just want a little touch of something that when everyone walks into the dining room, they go, oh, wow. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So if you're interested in what I'm going to do, please, first, subscribe. Second, stay tuned. Now I'm point, going to point you in the direction of the center of my dining room table because what I want to build is uh, an arrangement to go in this particular pot. And I'm gonna see if I can adjust this just a little bit so you can see both it and me without cutting off the top of my head. Let's see if we can do this. I think we can, or we'll try anyway. And so, what we are going to do, I have a vase that I've had for a while. And you can see I already have the chargers down, but these things stay on my dining room table day in and day out. So that part of the table pretty much remains the same. I keep it clean, I wash it down every, every couple of days because no one really eats here unless we're having something special. So I have taken this vase and I have stuffed it full of newspaper. And I'm going to use it as my base. Now no one's really going to see what's inside of there. The newspaper is just there to stabilize. Now I'm going to start this arrangement with some greenery. So I have some little pieces of greenery that I got from Walmart. And I'm just going to kind of start to poke those in. And put those in. And once we get uh, around it, you'll see everything will stay. Stay in place. So I have the front, making sure I have the back. I can adjust the way it looks. And uh, I have some different greenery that I'm going to add to this. A little few larger pieces of greenery that I think I'm going to put in as well. And I'm going to open these up because I want them to just kind of fill in the bottom of the container. So that's one. And I have one more. Let me go get that one. Okay, I have the one more and yes, I turned something over. But uh, anyway, I'm going to put this in. And then I'm going to put the second one in. Now you can see at this point, you wouldn't even know there was newspaper in this container because the greenery really covers up all of the paper portion. And I'll play around with these placements once I start to get everything in so that the bow is not hidden because the bow has been here all along. Now, I have some small pieces of flowers I have some larger pieces of flowers, and I've kind of take, gone through my box of goodies just to see what I have and what I can use. And so, as you can see, I have some little pods. Aren't they cute? But to be honest with you, I don't want to cut my pods apart because I may want to use them for something else. So I'm going to take these pods and I'm going to stick them toward the front because they're pretty, pretty tall. And I actually have one more pod that I found that I'm going to kind of open up and I'm going to stick that toward the back. Now, there we go. So that in it itself, almost by itself, is almost sufficient to say, okay, let's call it quits. But we're not there yet. Now, let's look at some of these pieces. Now, when I went to Walmart, Walmart had some really cool florals this year for fall. 
and Walmart had this particular uh, grouping, and this grouping had some, uh, this one didn't have large florals. It had mostly berries and greenery and those kind of things. And what I've been able to do is that because it was nice and full, I could take pieces off. So I'm going to take this, and this is going to sit right in the center. Because I want it to be seen, but to be honest with you, I just don't want to cut it up at this point. Because, you know, you never know. I may want to change it and do something else. Now, in one of the floral bushes that I got, I had these beautiful burgundy pennies. Hope you can see that. Trying to uh, work with the light that I have in the room. Okay. So, those, I have two of those florals left. So, I will actually add those last because I don't want to, uh, I want to use them, but I don't want to uh, get crazy with it. So, the rest of what I have are pieces, and they're pieces. I've got pieces with pine cones, and I'm going to pop those in, and they're going to be fillers. I've got a few leaves still left, fall leaves. I'm going to put those in to add a little more color. More pine cones. Let's put those in. And that's what just what you do. You start to fill in until you get it exactly the way you want it. Now I have more leaves. Need some leaves over here. Just to add that little touch of fall. And a few leaves here. Get those little, little fall foliage. I had some, uh, I had one arrangement that I'd actually gotten at Kirkland's, and it was pretty big. And I uh, took it apart, kind of the larger portions of it. And you can see, and it has a lot of movement. So what I'm going to do with that is that I'm going to take these, and I'm going to start to add them into this arrangement so that the arrangement will also have movement. Because I like that. I like that movement. I'm going to put some in there. They're, they kind of act as spacers as well as if the wind blows or if there's a breeze. You know, you get a little shimmery feel. Let's put those in. Let me open those up a little more. And there were enough of these in this uh, bunch. And they have them at, at Hobby Lobby. But there were enough in that bunch that I could just, um, you can see it. I could just uh, take some to the front. Take some and put it right in there because I want a little movement there. Okay, and I have one more of these. So I put one there, one here. Oh, I need a spot here. Okay, so I'm going to do that and put it right there. That's a perfect spot for that. Okay, now. This is cool because I've got feathers. I've got all kinds of things sitting in this vase. Now, I have these two beautiful, gorgeous flowers. Now, understand I've got the bow here. So, this is going to kind of be the front. Now, I want the flowers to be very visible. And if I find more and decide to pick up another bunch of these, I can certainly do that. But I'm going to focus these kind of on each side of the bow, and I don't want them too deep because I want them to be seen. Now, I think that, oh, got one more little piece, and that's going to get popped in right there. Now, you know what I want? I think I may want uh, some candle holders on each side. 
This table isn't gigantic. It's just a four seater. I can get six comfortably around this table. But at this point, and I purposely have it turned so that you can see the, the plant. And I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. But that's what the center is gonna look like. Now, what I would like to do is to add handles. I found these at the thrift store. And they've got a little bronze, a little gold. And uh, I'm thinking I could just add these to each side. But I'm not sure if that does exactly what I'd like for it to do. Let me scoot that over just a bit. I think it needs a little something else, even though that's pretty warm, but I'm not sure that's what I want. I think I have something else that I'm gonna try. Years ago, I had, these are two clear glass candle holders. And I think because this table's glass, that maybe, I'm just gonna sit these here, that maybe we should go with glass and then put the candles in. That way they're there, but not quite as obvious. It doesn't really take away from the, from the centerpiece. It doesn't take away from the rest of the table. And I'll put candles in and they just kind of blend in with the arrangement. I can sit them close, just kind of feed them in and sit them close so that they look like they're almost a part of the floral arrangement. Now I'm gonna bring you in closer because I want you to see what they look like. Now notice how they almost disappear. You can't even tell where they are. And that's a good thing. Because I'm thinking that once I put those candles in, all you're going to see are the little flickers of light and this arrangement will be done. So for this evening, for this dinner party, this centerpiece is finished. And I will show you a picture with the candles in place. It turned out beautiful. Now guys, I hope this weekend that you are planning to do something with either your family or friends or both. And that when you do, you will do something very pretty to put in the center of the table to let them know just how special they were and they are to you and to your heart. Now, I'm looking forward to having you right here at this table because guess what? This table is not complete yet. I still have to set the table. And once I set that table, I'm going to bring you along and let you see exactly what the finished product is going to look like. I hope you'll subscribe and follow along with me because I love to do these kinds of things all the time. So have a wonderful and blessed day and get those tablescapes and centerpieces ready. Enjoy!